Your friends, like, you just go up to them and be like, hey, dude, you want a 1v1? And they'll be like, yeah, sure, bro. And you'll be like, hey, bro, stand right still. And then you'll shoot this arrow at them and they'll go, what? What? Why is there so much TNT? And then they'll just get blown up into thousands of bits. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you five secret commands that you guys can go ahead and use in your very own Minecraft world with command blocks that are just awesome, to be honest, guys. Your friends are going to be super jealous. I know I'm jealous of myself when I use this. That doesn't make any sense. I need to shut up. These commands are really cool, guys. If you are excited to check them out, make sure to go ahead and drop a like down below. That'd be much appreciated, guys. I think we're going to try and reach 1,000 likes on today's video. I reckon you guys can do it, so slash leave a like, enter. Much appreciated, guys. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to do slash subscribe. And then go ahead and hit the little bell icon to never miss an upload. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So, guys, for to do, we're going to be looking at five secret commands that, you know, just do some pretty awesome stuff in your Minecraft world. And I think I just lit. So, first, you're going to need to get yourself a command block. Pretty important. So, you want to go ahead, do slash give at P command block underscore block and hit the enter button and voila we have a command block very very fancy guys very fancy <laughs> and you can go ahead and there are three types of command blocks i'm just going to run through this really quickly because i'm sure most of you guys already know impulse which is basically a single signal single signal that is hard to say you've got chain which re which comes after another command block so it chains off it and then you have repeat which is pretty obvious it's just a repeating command so now you guys know how these command blocks work Let's go and do our very first command block system. So this one, guys, you're going to need to put down a command just like this, but you need to jump up and place it so the arrow is facing up. So just again, guys, jump and place just like that. Make sure that arrow is facing up. It's super important. Then you want to go ahead and jump and place another one on top of that. And you should get like this little tower with the arrows facing up. Super important. Once again, guys, those arrows need to point to the sky. But anyway, once you guys have done that, you want to jump to your first command block. Now, this command block, our very first command, is going to give us super arrows. And you guys are going to love this. Well, I'm hoping you will. So you want to go ahead, make this repeat, then always active. Then for your command, guys, you want to go ahead and do execute at E brackets type equals arrow and brackets just like that guys then you want to go ahead space tilde which is the little squiggly line whatever you want to call it guys space tilde space tilde then you want to go detect and you want to go tilde tilde minus one space tilde space grass then you want to go ahead minus one summon get this tnt space tilde 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 so that is our first command block then you want to go ahead jump over to your second command block Make this one a chain one and needs redstone. Then go ahead and put in execute. Once again, guys, we're going to just bring this up full screen so I can see what I'm doing. Execute. And you want to go at E brackets type equals arrow. Once again, just like that, guys. Then you want to go space tilde, space tilde, space tilde, space detect. Then space tilde, space tilde, minus one. Space tilde, grass. Then you want to go, I believe it is, minus one, I hope I get this right, minus one, space, TP, space, at E, bracket, type, equals, arrow, end bracket, oh, no, type equals arrow, then you want to use a comma, R equals 11, which means radius is 11 blocks wide, end bracket, then you want to go, tilde, space, tilde, minus 500, and tilde, and those are the two commands you guys are going to need to do, do for our very first secret command creation, and you know, it kind of creates a cool looking tower. You can hide this away or you can have this above service. It looks kind of cool to be honest in my opinion. But you're probably wondering, all right, so what does this actually do? And I think I may have slightly screwed this up. Yep, yeah, no S on the end of that one there. All right, so hopefully I haven't messed any of these commands up. Let's go ahead. Wait, did I get rid of the S? Did I get rid of the S? I need to get rid of the S there. All right, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. If you guys couldn't type those down fast enough, just make sure, you know, maybe take a screenshot or pause the video now. Let's check out what this has. So what you're going to need is a bow. And check this out, guys. You may have noticed we used type arrow a lot, and we also use summon TNT. So when we go ahead and shoot an arrow, look at this, guys. It summons TNT, basically creating this awesome TNT arrow that launches TNT 
all over your world. That was awesome. You may notice the bunch of text that happened in the left-hand corner. You guys can go ahead, get rid of that by doing slash game rule, then do command block output, false, and check this out, guys. Every time we shoot an arrow, it'll turn into a TNT arrow, and you will get this. That is the coolest arrow ever. If that's not a cool command block creation, I don't know what is, like... Your friends, like, you just go up to them and be like, Hey, dude, you want a 1v1? And they'll be like, yeah, sure, bro. And you'll be like, hey, bro, stand right still. And then you'll shoot this arrow at them and they'll go, What? What? Why is there so much TNT? And then they'll just get blown up into thousands of bits. Look at how far that TNT goes. You can see the damage it is doing, like, all the way over here, away from the command block. It's pretty insane. And I have to be honest, this is probably my favorite command block creation of this entire video. I mean, these TNT arrows are just awesome. Look at that explosion. That is lit. Like, literally lit. <laughs> it is explosive, guys. So there is our first command. Now, our second command, guys, basically allows you to give the effect of something being stuck in a tree or any block, to be honest. You can use anything. So for this, you're going to need a few more things than a command block. You're going to need a sapling and some bone meal. Or of course, you can just go up to a tree. That's totally fine. But you're also going to need an armor stand. And then you want to go ahead and... Not, not an arrow stand, an armor stand. There we go, I can spell. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and choose any tool you want. I'm going to use a diamond axe. You can use a sword or anything you like. But what you want to do is first place down your tree, just like this. And I would get I would get stuck in the tree, guys. We'll just uh, fix that. Oh, no, nope, that's too low. We're going to need a tree that is at least, at least, guys, two blocks high. There we go, that's good. All right, so once you guys have a tree like this, you want to go ahead and place your armor stand facing diagonally in like that. Then you want to go ahead, equip them with the weapon. You can go ahead and choose any stance you guys like. I'd personally just like to have, hmm, oh, oh, that was a good one. No, let's go back. All right. I like to have one that sticks into the tree. So if we go ahead, as you can see, the axe looks like it's sticking into the tree. Big problem is, is that the armor stand is there. And that's where the command block comes in. What you want to do is jump underneath your armor stand, guys, just like this. Place a command block right here. And you want to go ahead, and this needs to be on repeat. Always active, and you want to go ahead and do effect at E. I believe this is right. I hope it is type equals armor underscore stand and bracket. Then you want to go invisible. Okay, I gotta spell this right. Invisibility. Invisibility. Oh, we got an I in there. There we go. Why are there so many eyes in the word invisibility? Then you want to go ahead and do 10 space 10. You can go ahead and leave the command block and have a look at that, guys. Your armor stand has disappeared, like completely vanished, guys, giving you the effect of an axe stuck in a tree. Pretty awesome. You could use this with pretty much any block, whether you want like a sword stuck in a stone. There are so many different things you could do, guys. So, for example, you could go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put the armor stand down. Now, you may notice that all armor stands are invisible, which is pretty insane. So, you can use this trick as many times as you like with only one command block. Go ahead. We'll give the armor stand our sword and you can go ahead put it in the position you like. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And for example, you could have like a diamond sword stuck in some stone or in this case grass. And it's really cool the amount of things you can do with this invisible armor stance command block. Pretty awesome. I think it's pretty cool. And that is command number two. Now the next three commands are a little simpler, but are really, really awesome. And I think are really, really useful. So our next command block first. Oh, we better give ourselves a command block again. So we'll go ahead. Command block. There we go. The next one is to summon arrows and lightning bolts. So, if you go ahead and put command blocks down, guys, you can go ahead and do summon, and then you can go ahead and do say, summon, arrow, and then you can go ahead and do tilde, tilde, 20 after this one, and then space tilde. Go ahead, leave your command block, and have a look at this, guys. We get raining arrows. How cool is that? Like, this is literally just arrows raining down from the sky endlessly. And this could be really cool if you like place this underneath some like dirt, just like this, guys. If we go ahead and do this, and we go ahead and imagine you go ahead and place this underneath like this. Somebody who's just walking along, you could go ahead and turn off the command block just like this. We go ahead, needs redstone. All right, and we can go ahead and use a lever. And that way, when somebody comes to enter your house, you could introduce this awesome troll that when they walk in, it activates raining arrows. And can you imagine, guys, if you're in survival and you walk under this, look at that. It just does crazy damage to you. Like, honestly, have a look. You try and walk under that, and it just bumps you out. You could have, like, 
tons of these guarding your house because look if you try and walk into them you just get bounced away so like nobody would ever be able to enter your house which is pretty cool and that's one of the cool uses you can use for that but another cool use you can use with the summon command is lightning so you can go ahead and do we're gonna go ahead and once again do repeat and always active and you can go ahead and do summon there we go lightning underscore bolt then you want to go tilde 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 just like that and it'll start summoning lightning from the sky just like this is endless lightning it's pretty it looks pretty awesome if you ask me sometimes it'll glitch out and there's just fire coming down it is a really really cool command the summon command especially if you have a repeat because you can like oh guys look what we've created with the lightning and the arrows we've created <laughs> what? We've created raining flaming arrows. That is insane. I've never seen this before. Like, even when I was testing these commands, this is awesome, guys. Like, honestly, can you imagine a base defended with endless lightning and arrows just like that? That is pretty insane. I think it's pretty cool. But those are those two command blocks. I'm going to go ahead and destroy them just so they don't lag out our world. But yeah, the summon commands are pretty lit, pretty awesome, and... <laughs> Look at how many arrows are in my inventory right now, guys. Just take a minute. Look at all these arrows that have been summoned. That is insane. So that was our third command for today. Let's move on to command number four. Give myself another command block because I keep clearing my inventory. All right, there we go. So our next command is unbreakable blocks, which is pretty insane, but also really awesome. It can mean that if someone's trying to break in your house, you can make your house out of unbreakable blocks. And every time they try to break it, the block will just reappear. It's really, really cool. And yeah, pretty awesome. So let's say I was building a house, right? What you want to do is go ahead, put you your command block on repeat and always active. Then you want to go ahead and do slash set block. Then you want to go ahead tilde. And then this is really important. Depending on where you want to put the block is depending on your number you use. So let's say I want to put it two blocks above the command block. I want to go tilde, then two, just like that, space tilde. And you want to go ahead. I actually need to go ahead and I messed this up. You need to go slash slap block space and then put the block you want. So in this case, you're going to be building a house out of stone. So we'll go ahead, slash set block space stone. Then you want to go ahead, tilde, tilde. I think we decided on two, tilde. You can go ahead and leave. And if you look, all right, so I've messed this up. What have I done wrong? I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong, guys? I hope I've... What have I done? Oh! I've put him around the wrong way. Okay, so I was right the first time. It's tilde, tilde two, tilde, and then you want to go stone just like that. And have a look at that, guys. This will summon the block that you guys want two blocks above the command block. And if you had a bunch of these, you could just spawn as many blocks as you want. But the cool part is, is even in creative, if I destroy that block... Look at that, guys. It just comes straight back. It is essentially an unbreakable block. No matter how hard you try, you will never be able to break this block. And in my opinion, that's insane. And you can build some pretty awesome unbreakable bases with this. And if you've got, you know, one of those friends who just like to destroy everything, you can go ahead and absolutely annoy the hell out of them by inventing one of these unbreaking blocks. Pretty cool. And you can also use any block you want. So if I want to go ahead and use wool, have a look at that, guys. Unbreakable wool. Absolutely everything guys we use this on my realm by the way if you're not added to my realm make sure to go ahead and put <laughs> Go ahead to the description hit the link in the description guys click join EY streams realm come play with me I can't wait to see you there But we use this on the realm to protect different builds and stuff and honestly I think it works really really well So on to our final command for today guys command number five is another one that we go ahead We've had the summon one. We've had the TNT arrows one. We've had the tree one. We've had the unbreakable block Now the next one we have guys is a really cool kind of text effect, which I like to use when making maps So this one here guys, we're gonna put it on the surface actually and this is a title command So if you go ahead and do title then at P title then you go ahead and you can write whatever you like which is pretty insane So we're gonna go go EY stream is Bay. <laughs> Let's do that guys and you want to make sure this is the only one you want to put impulse and needs redstone Oh, not EY stream is bay. It's just EY stream is bay. Leave the command block And now what you want to do is you can put either a button or a pressure plate on we're gonna put a pressure plate on it for this one There we go. We'll go ahead grab a pressure plate grab chuck that on top and that means every time somebody jumps on the command block have a look at that guys you get this text across your seam that says whatever you want and it's pretty awesome in my opinion like Really, really cool. You can get that to be any color you want and say whatever you want. And uh, it's just a really nice command, guys. Like, pretty awesome. I love it. It's simple. It's a lot simpler than the ones we've had today. But yeah, really, really cool. Nonetheless, those are our five secret commands. <laughs> English is a good language, guys. 
Those are our five secret commands for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and you know what, guys? Until next time, it was your mouth. Bye. Let's go.